Okay guys, so I just got the quest to travel to the Tidal Island from Bastel. I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to do that. Um, first we're going to go through this area called the coast and then we're going to try to find the Tidal Island. The minions in this area aren't that important, but I would recommend killing them for XP, so that is what I am going to do here. And then we'll just keep going forward. If you hit tab, you can open up your map to be a little bit larger, which is really nice. I do want to be careful because the mobs get pretty strong right away in this game as opposed to other games. Like maybe Diablo 4, you actually have to worry about the mobs in this game at early levels. So just keep venturing forth on the map. I'm trying to do like a up and to the right approach, whichever way it looks longer is probably where you're supposed to go. Keep an eye out for good loot too because you will start getting good loot right away in this game. Anything with links or anything that gives high armor at the stage is pretty good. To level up your gems, just hit that plus sign over there. And then we're going to keep on going. I might just ignore some of these guys as I get going. Kill a few, get that XP. Okay, and now we found our first waypoint right here. So if you want the waypoint, click. And with these waypoints, you can teleport, so I can teleport back to Lion's Eye Watch if I wanted to. But to get to the Tidal Island, take this exit down here. I'm going to pull up the map. It's the one that's southern to go to the Tidal Island. That's where we're going to want to go for Bestil's quest. Okay, and then we'll just keep walking over here. There's kind of like a ghost guy at the end of this that we have to kill. But he shouldn't really be a problem. And I think Bastille gives us a skill point along the way, so... This is definitely worth a... Doing this quest, I'd say it's actually kind of mandatory for your character. You're gonna want to get all the, uh... Quests done that you can, because they're all gonna give you useful stuff. Even these scrolls of wisdom at the start of the game are useful to pick up, so... Make sure you're doing that too. You don't need to pick up all the gear. But here we have Hailrake. Alright. And watch out, he does a lot of damage. You're gonna wanna move around him. Make sure you're not getting hit by this. Because as you can see here, I'm only level 3 and he is taking me out. does give you your first portal scroll in the game. So to use your por portal scroll, open your inventory, and it's this blue thing right here, as you can see. And we're going to use this to go back to town, Lion's Eye Watch. A little bit of a long loading time here. The server's probably just started up for the new season. And then we're going to talk to Nessa, and we got our first reward, which is a, which I'd highly recommend taking the Quicksilver Flask, because it's going to let you move faster. So take that, put it in your inventory, and then we got a nice gem from her, too. Take whichever one fits your build, and then talk to Bastel again, and then talk to Tarle. And there we are all done with that quest. So that was uh, how to find the mudflats, or the tidal islands. Uh, pretty easy quest to do, but it can be hard to figure out if you're um, just starting the game. 